I am Empress Nandi, ordained metaphysician, certified angel therapist, soul healer and teacher and intuitive. It is my honor and privilege to serve you. Please click the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be the first to receive this wisdom. Help me take these teachings viral by liking and commenting on the video, reposting, sharing, and tagging. Connect with me on Instagram at Awaken Your Divinity, on Twitter at Empress Nandi, and on Facebook at Jane Ether. To awaken your divinity is to not allow yourself to be distracted by the happenings of the earth. This is a tall order. There are many important injustices happening in the earth right now. The key is to stay focused. Focused not on what is happening as it is undesirable. The key is to focus on what you desire. World peace, economic stability, a healthy food supply, a happy family, clean oceans and rivers, safe children. Focus on what you want. Let's be clear. We are in a spiritual war, a spiritual war to create a new world order, one of love, peace, and harmony, or one where the majority of the citizens have been eliminated and replaced with artificial intelligence. Do not allow your mind, heart, and soul to be distracted by the rampant atrocities set before us. Instead, know that we must unite our collective consciousness to create and manifest a world where we are cooperating and living side by side in peace. To do so, we must be diligent in our visualization, in printing and carving of love, peace, and harmony upon the universal consciousness. Do not allow yourself to drown in anger and sadness regarding the blatant disregard for human life. Instead, go into the alchemical lab of your unlimited consciousness, picturing the world the way you truly desire it to be. Justice for every citizen, humane treatment and living conditions for all, clean water, safe neighborhoods, the ecosystem again working optimally. Peace officers that actually promote peace. Communities where we peacefully police ourselves, working cooperatively as a unit. Visualizing a world where racism, sexism, and ageism are non-existent. No that the mind is the true creative power. Use your mind to manifest a society that we truly desire. Use your mind to picture it as you want to experience it. Create the life you truly desire. Do not underestimate this effort. Thought, word, and action are divine tools of creation. We manifest in the same way as our source. As our thoughts, words, feelings, and actions are aligned on the same vibrational frequency of love, peace, and harmony, 
the universe takes a snapshot of those vibrational frequencies that we emit from our electromagnetic field and outpours it back to us as experience. This is how we create everything. So as we feel sad, mad, disgusted, frustrated with all of the injustices we see, stay focused, not on what's happening in front of us, but stay focused on how we choose to manifest our future. Stay focused on picturing a just world, a happy world, a world where we feel safe and secure, a world where we have more than enough for every citizen. This is how we affect change on Mother Earth.